Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me. Today I am going to be planning the week of January 30th to February 5th and I'm going to be using this February monthly colors kit by Ohlo Stationery Co. And let's just get started. So I'm going to first start off with showing you all of the sheets that come in this kit. This is one of their standard weekly kits um, that they offer in their shop and you can use my coupon code oh hello liz 10 to get 10 percent off your order so the first sheet you get are your little things then you get your functional sheets so all your functional deco appointment labels habit trackers and bill dues then you get your washi strips bottom washi and today headers you get your half boxes and labels your ombre heart checklist and to do headers and then your full boxes and your odds and ends. I thought this was perfect to use this week because it's the transition transition from January to February. I can't believe it's going to be February on Wednesday. That's absolutely crazy because my birthday is in three weeks. My birthday is on the 17th. So I thought this would be a fun kit to use. Um, I have a specific birthday kit that I'm going to use for the week of my birthday. But yeah, so I'm going to get started. And I think I'm just going to speed through some of these parts that take a long time. So the first thing I'm going to do are my to-do lists and I do my checklist up at the top. So I'm going to put that part down and I will be right back. down I'm gonna go through and do my today headers and full boxes I did accidentally rip this header a little bit when I was pulling up the checklist because it wasn't even but that's okay because I'm gonna cover it up with the header anyways so I'm gonna go through and do that and then I'll be back <laughs> So next I'm going to do my odds and ends headers and then I'll be back and we can finish off with this planner spread. Okay, so this is what the spread looks like so far. This is really great. You could really use the spread. You don't, wouldn't just, you don't have to use it just for Valentine's Day. You could use it for like an anniversary or a, a special, like a wet, a, even a wedding this would work for. This is really pretty and I love the designs that Kayla and Alex came up with. So next we're going to do, I'm going to do the bottom washi just so I can, don't forget that. And they do theirs. It's not the super thick washi, which is okay. I'm just gonna put that down. Perfect. As you guys saw my last plan with me, I had difficulties with this. I did it like four times, so that turned out perfect. And while we're down at the bottom, I've been putting my weekend banner down here, so I'm gonna do the same thing again this week. And we'll just do that. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to do the sidebar, so I'm just going to flip this on the side while I do that. So there's three habit trackers. Normally I track my birth control and vitamins. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use for the third one this week, but I'll put it here anyways, and I'll, I'll have to come up with something new to track, maybe like a 10 minute tidy or something. 
So let's see, what have I been doing in my sidebar? I guess I can do another to buy header. Well, it's a purple checklist. So. Sorry about that, the camera just shut off. So I'm trying to decide what to do here. I think I'm just gonna do a generic to-do list for the week. Um, in case I come up with something that I know we need to do. So I'm just gonna put this last checklist in here. Perfect, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So we have one full sheet that I've completely used up. So now I'm gonna go in, I think, and do my little things. So I'm gonna do my meals every day of the week. I always put these in at the bottom. Sometimes if I have a kit, like a mini kit that doesn't come with little things, and I have a sidebar tracker, I would use the sidebar weekly tracker to do my meals, but I really prefer to do them on the days of the week. I don't know. It's just what I like to do. So let's do that. And I like they have one, if you do color blocking, like I usually try and do in my spreads, that they have enough colors to match each day so you're not like, I don't know, so you don't run out of colors or something. So there we go with those. So let's do the beginning of the week. I do know on February 1st, we have not an appointment label. We have a bill due and they don't have a blue one. So we're just gonna go with the purple because why not? And that is the mortgage, so I'm just gonna lay that down. I'm trying to see if I have anything else. Friday is payday, so what we'll do for the other days is we'll do some half boxes. There's no TV shows that I watch early in the week and I probably actually won't even get to watch the show that I normally watch this week, and I'll explain why. So there's the beginning of the week. So I don't have any big plans until the weekend. So let's put down the cha-ching, it's payday sticker up here, because Friday is our payday. I get paid bi-weekly, which is really weird um, a lot of companies do it nowadays. I don't personally like it, but it is what it is. So Sunday the 5th is the Super Bowl. So I'm going to use a half box up here, I think. And I'm just going to mark Super Bowl L. We're gonna do that. And then I'll do another half box at the bottom. We are gonna have some people over because my team is in the Super Bowl. It's the New England Patriots. So let's see. There's no blue little thing for TV shows. And I'm probably not gonna even get to watch it on Sunday, so I'm not gonna mark it. I really have been enjoying, the new show that I've been watching is Victoria on PBS. It's a new masterpiece show, and it's about Queen Victoria in England when she became the young queen. So let's just put a exclamation point there. So because we have people coming over, I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna wind up going to the store on Saturday. So we're, I'm just gonna put a grocery sticker here because I know that's gonna be the case. Um, let's open this up. This is so pretty. So Monday is trash and recycling day. So I'm gonna put this icon here and we'll probably do laundry on Saturday. So I'm gonna mark that like this. And I'm not sure what packages I'm gonna be getting this week. So I, I have a couple package icons that I could use. Um, let me just mark 
my trackers. Yeah, let's do 10 minute tidy because I was really good at doing that for a while and I kind of fell out of place with that. January has been such a chaotic month to be totally honest with you. So a lot of things that I was doing, I just got out of sync with. Let's go do a coffee for Monday. Okay, so what else can we do here? She has five workout stickers, so you know what? Let's mark these boxes. I'm determined to get back on schedule with my workouts. January was, a, like I said, it was a crazy month and I just fell off the bandwagon. I barely worked out at all. So let's do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we'll just do that for now. And I'm going to leave the end of the week open. I'll probably get a workout in Saturday, but I don't want to commit to it right now. And there's no movies this week. Um, there is next week, but I can't really see it right away. So maybe I'll put a house icon on s for our party. So I'll do like this. I'll dismark. So I have Super Bowl LI. I'll dismark party at our house. Perfect. I like how that looks. So let me show you what I have left in the kit. I need to put something here. I forgot about that. Let's, let's do some washi first. So let's see. I feel like this kit needs a little bit more, I guess, blue. So I'm just going to use some of these blue washi strips down here to just fill in this space. patterns are so pretty and like I said you could really use this spread any time of the year I'm just using it as a transition kit from January to February and I have planned out all of my spreads for February so you guys will get planned with me every week I'm so excited for you guys to get lots of videos yeah I did these totally crooked so let's just see this last one yeah, these are really crooked. That's okay, though. Just fill in that last bit. There. That's fine. I wish I had some sort of a deco I could put on here, but their kits don't normally. Sometimes their kits come with deco, but most of the time they don't. Maybe I'll just do a half box down there in case anything comes up. I've got an extra red one, so let's just put this down here. And we'll just put that there in case anything comes up during the week. That's perfect. Okay, so let's go through what's left in the kit. So I used up all the half boxes and headers that was on this sheet. Um, the next sheet, I have a lone odds and ends header left. I have some quarter boxes and half boxes left. I have some deco left. I have quite a few little things, and then I have most of the washi strips. So that's going to do it for this plan with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will talk to you in my next video. Have a great day.